Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Sheets. What I want to have a look at in this session is how to filter data in Google and also how to use the countif function to make that filter a bit more special. So as you can see on the screen, I've got some data and I've actually got the filter already on there. Now, if I go to the data tab up the top there, you can turn the filter off or put the filter on. So at the moment the filter is off, there's no filter on there. Now, if I click into this column anywhere, you've got um, the filter option on the ribbon. You can see it there on the toolbar. So I'll click, I'll click on that and it puts the little filter symbol in each column and it works like this. If I drop the column down, there's all the ticks. So if I don't want something to appear, let's say I don't want that or that, I just want EO, I click OK and that filters it in place. And then you can either go back into the filter and tick the other ones on, and click OK, or you could go to the filter option, drop the arrow down and clear the filter from there. Now you can also create a filter and then save that filter to get there quickly. So if I do that one, so if I just go, uh, let's filter by, so I just want to see men. Okay. Now if I go to this filter, what you can do there is save that filter. So click save. And then you get this option there. And if I click into there and just type men, I'll cl call that men. And then if I remove this filter, just bring the females back. OK, and then quickly I can go to the filter option. If I drop this down again, you can see there's uh, men, which is already there. I'll put that one on. That's the one I did with lowercase. And you can see it in there. So that's how you do a basic filter. So just bring them back. OK, so you've got age there, different ages. So that's a big list. Um, you've got filter by condition and you've got none there and then these are different lists so I want let's say greater than and then the value let's say 35 okay and then that just shows you everything that's greater than 35 and then again you can bring that back um, by clearing that off through there or clearing that off through the top whichever way you want to do it you want to bring them all back so I didn't do anything there so obviously I left them on so clear get rid of that and then okay bring them back so something is still filtered there so let me just get rid of no filter and just checking that that still looks a bit short to me so let's have a quick look what I've still got on is I've still got men on that's what it is so if I come back up here and um, let's get rid of men females on okay bring them all back so drop the arrow down I've got a filter that I saved for men uh, I've used a filter that's going to um, select it greater than or whatever the condition is you know there's lots of different options you've got in there when you go into none loads of different options if it's date and things like that just click away from that but what I want to show you is um, a better thing that I think than filters so what I'm going to do is I want to know what the score on the door is for courses so if I um, copy Microsoft training for example and put it into K1 paste that in there and then copy leadership and paste that in there to make myself a little table and copy equal ops and make that there. so that's just the, the three categories that's in this list and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on column h and i'm going to name this column um i'm going to name it course so type course press enter there so that is now called course you can see it there so i can refer to that as opposed to uh, cell references because i want to use the function called countif and this works like this. If I go equals count if and open a bracket, you get it's you get the little help coming up asking you for the range. So the range is course, comma, and then where do you want to look? So the criteria I could put, like you can see there, little example in quotes, but the 
because I've got the information in K1, I can click on K1 and then press enter on that and it tells me that there are seven Microsoft training courses in this list. If I just prove that, if I just pull that down a little bit so this changes slightly, there's now nine. And if I copy and paste, copy and paste that one, because the name is the whole column, when I add things down here, it still picks it up. And the good news is, because I've used the name, a named range, I don't have to worry about dollar signs to lock cells. I can just pull that across and it will automatically pick that up. And again, if there's any changes or additions, these figures will change. So in terms of wanting to know how many there are of something, that's what you can use. If it's just a filter, you use this option where you've got uh, from the data tab or from the filter option there. So if I go to data, I didn't show you that, but you've got all these turn off filters, filter views and stuff like that. Different options in there. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this little video, how to filter some information and how to use count if the count if function. The other thing you've got on filter, which I just forgot to mention is you can actually sort by each column and then you can sort by color as well. There's only one color, which is that one. So hopefully that was of use to you and thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.